the, we are seeing tomorrow the launch of Discover, the first operational space weather mission to be launched by NOAA into deep space. It's a very exciting time for all of us. Discover, when it launches, will take about 110 days to get to its observing point, which is kind of a unique place for us. As I said, it's the first deep space observer we have. It will be sitting at what's called the Lagrange point, which is a gravitationally stable point between the Earth and the Sun, about, about a million miles away from the Earth, directly in line with the Sun. From that position, it is staring at the Sun and taking in situ data of the measurements of the wind, the solar wind, and the coming from the Sun in real time, and transmitting that data directly to the Earth. Solar storms can have a potential to provide significant impact to the Earth and to, our, and to the, uh, the uh, society. Major critical economic critical sectors could be affected by it, such as aviation, telecommunications, power grids, and global positioning systems could be affected by the significant solar storms which can come our way. Discover will ensure that space weather forecasters from NOAA, the Air Force, and other nations have the capability to provide timely, actionable, and relevant space weather watches, warnings, and alerts, the environmental intelligence needed by government and private sector decision makers, and emergency managers to ensure that we can respond to anything the sun might send our way. The spacecraft is in great shape. We're not working any issues at this time. Uh, final closeouts will occur later today. And we're looking forward to SpaceX providing Discover a great ride tomorrow evening on its journey to L1.